Hey, joy seekers. Today I'm going to riff about the difference between happiness and joy. So I'm a joy activation coach and I'm here to help you find more joy. And I am neurodivergent, which also has an effect. If you're neurodivergent and you want to understand this as well, this happens to be one of my special interests. So let's get into it. So happiness can be fleeting. So can joy. What's the difference? Happiness is positivity. Happiness can be an effort. Happiness can be fleeting. And happiness can come from outside, which can be difficult sometimes to keep that happiness. Joy is an attempt to keep long-term delight in our lives. Joy is delight. It is that moment when you see the rainbow and it affects you in a really positive way. It is uh, being out in nature and feeling awe. And it is also meditation, gratitude and joy can support happiness but joy is really deep really deep within and keeping that joy is an is an effort and but it's also you can access joy through savoring a moment when things were amazing and you were in awe and you were having this absolutely just deep experience within yourself and it and you can if you savor those moments for 20 seconds if you sit when you have those feelings and just appreciate them and take them in and let it happen in your body you can reaccess that later and finding joy certainly increases your happiness Happiness can, your joy can be taken by external circumstances, but really it's the internal play that keeps the joy there. Focusing on what makes you feel joyful and what makes you happy can bring more joy and delight. For neurodivergent people, there's a lot of joy and in special interests. When you dive in to your favorite topic, and you just eat it up, that's pretty joyful. <laughs> Take, that's my experience. <laughs> and happiness comes from this as well. I mean, we talk, I talk a lot about happiness being chemical and it totally is. And we can cultivate happiness by paying attention to the chemicals in our brain and lowering the cortisol, increasing the endorphins, the serotonin, the oxytocin, the dopamine, <clears throat> right? And if neurodivergent people are low on that dopamine, then that means that it takes effort to raise the dopamine and find the happiness. But joy kind of happens. Joy happens by where we are. Joy happens by the experience around us, the people around us. And those things help us to suddenly have this amazing feeling of joy. And the most important thing is to notice it and be with it and let it in and notice, sit with it, savor it, recognize that you're in a moment of joy. The other thing I found is joy is reciprocal. So when you have an intention to bring joy to someone else, you receive it as well. And so in the joyful moments that I do with Joy First Foundation, where I walk up to someone like you and I say, thanks for being alive today. Thank you for being on earth today. Thank you for just being you and living through all of your challenges. And I acknowledge the person for simply being alive on earth 
and remind them that they're worthy. And the look on their face as it shifts and changes while they're receiving this message, it's so much deeper than just happiness. It's a human connection. It's acknowledgement that because we exist, we have worth and you have worth and you matter just because you exist. We get a sense of calm and some people, they get this sense of calm and they don't know what to do with it. And they begin to cry and tell stories about what's not bringing them joy. But yet there's this joy in having someone listen to those items that they're bringing up to that emotion. And you get to cultivate that. And as you listen and, and talk and take that moment, it just builds on itself. And it is an amazing feeling. It's way deeper than happiness. It's, it's, it's almost primitive in the way that that reciprocity and that connection and that just love passing between two random people. It's very special. And so I, I just want you to think about when was the last time you truly felt a deep sense of joy. And just take a moment and remember some things about that time. Where were you? Who were you with? What were you doing? And what did you see? And what did you hear? And in your body, where did that feeling come from? For me, it's right here right in the middle of my heart. My heart grows when I feel joy. Take a moment and just remember that feeling. And then think about the gratitude that comes along with it. That you happen to be in that place. You happen to be with that person if you were with someone else. You happen to be there in that moment when that thing happened that made you go, oh, and fill your heart with joy. And as you remember that moment, you can then bring it back. And so in a difficult moment, if you just stop, drop and rest, and you can feel the feelings you had before in that moment, you can bring it back. And it's very powerful. Think about somebody giving you a random compliment on the street. All of a sudden somebody says, wow, I love your hair. And sometimes we can be a little skeptical, right? Well, are, why are they saying that? Well, how about if we take away the why are they saying that? And we just let it be that some random person got the urge to give us a compliment and acknowledge our existence. That's enough. And you are enough. You are so much enough just because you exist. And it doesn't matter if it's holistic or neurodivergent or what. It doesn't matter because humans are humans. And we have the capacity to give this to each other, which is so incredibly powerful. So I urge you today, as you're going through your day, see what it feels like to find something on a person passing by or just in front of you in line or behind you in line or the cashier at the grocery store. Find a way to give them a compliment and feel it as they react to your genuine compliment and acknowledgement. And write in the comments how it worked out for you. I'd love to hear it. And again, if you like this channel, please subscribe, like, hit that notification button, and tell your friends. I'm trying to grow the channel. I love your input. 
So I will talk to you soon and thank you so much for watching.